this video I came up with uh, a schematic to try to remember the cervical plexus so um, these are the anatomical references that I'm basing it off of um, there's one thing you'll note up here at the top the uh, the greater occipital um, that's actually wrong it should be the greater auricular so I'll note that in the schematic um, also just pointing out the uh, this is going to include the ansa cervicalis some of this is based off of some YouTube videos that I found um, talking about the, the cervical plexus, uh, but it just enhanced to include the level of detail that we require. So we start off by drawing a zigzag line um, with five individual points. We'll label it one, two, three, four, and five for the nerves extending out. Um, then we're going to go up here and start the inferior root of the ansa cervicalis. Uh, that'll come straight over, straight back up to form the superior root of the ansa, and make a connection there. You can label it um, however you want. I just chose to put in enough letters that it would remind me um, of what it was actually called. So, if at any point in time I mispronounce these, uh, I'm sorry, I'm still learning them myself. So, I also wrote down here. We have to know this uh, that uh, this is the descending hypoglossal or also known as, and this is the descending cervicalis. So over here, we put in the sternohyoid and the sternothyroid. Just mark those down real quick. And then there are two descending branches that go to the omohyoid. Over here we have the geniohyoid and this branch is for the uh, thyrohyoid. And there's a small branch up here um, that called the meningeal branch uh, and it actually uh, ascends with the hypoglossal nerve um, up to the dura. So right now, uh, might as well just draw the uh, hypoglossal coming down. And I'll label this as the hypoglossal. Um, if you note too, this is P to A, um, just as it is in this picture. I just wanted to draw that to your attention. Uh, also, I'll write a 12 over top of it, so that I remember that it's the 12th cranial nerve. Um, get down here, and this is the gray ramus communicans or communicator um, there's a number of branches below it uh, this it actually extends to the um, superior cervical ganglion of the sympathetic trunk um, and that's a little bit difficult to draw it that's actually where the ganglion would be so all I did was draw these uh, little uh, extensions coming out and then label them. But they would normally all meet up at that ganglion. Uh, and it just would be a little bit confusing. So down here, uh, these three branches will extend to become the phrenic. So I wrote down nerve to the phrenic. And there's a little one down here. I drew this a little bit low. Oh, let me just go ahead and erase that real quick. But that would be the third branch, and they would all come together to become the phrenic. Now over here, um, there's uh, one more piece, a little bit that I forgot. This goes to the uh, ganglion of the vagus, um, and right down ten, so that I remember. Well, that's the tenth nerve, the vagus, anyway. Uh, and then after that, we'll draw the uh, spinal accessory. And it's going to come straight down, and at the bottom, we'll three branches that connect uh, to the trapezius. And come back up. 
There's a connecting branch right over here that connects to the accessory, uh, then passes straight through along with the accessory zone branch. Um, they connect to the sternocolidomastoid. Um, above that, we'll just label that uh, as the accessory so don't forget. Um, and then down here, there are two more connecting branches to the accessory. Um, above that, we have this branch. I leave a little gap around it uh, so that I know it doesn't connect. And this goes to the lesser occipital. Another branch below that. Uh, leave a gap. And this goes to the greater auricular. And directly below that. And this last branch um, actually passes over the nerve and then kind of makes a U-turn, goes all the way to the front of the neck. And that is the transverse cervical. Uh, oh, one last thing. There's uh, three small branches come down here to become uh, the supraclavicular. Well, that's about it. Uh, let me move this out of the glare a little bit. We can get a better picture of it. Um, draw this three or four times, and you really shouldn't have any problem um, being able to label it or remember, you know, what goes where. And uh, one more time, I'll show you the notes in case you want to pause it and look at them. And the end saw cervicalis. So I uh, hope this helps.